exactly what happened to our minds. But it could get unstuck. And what do you do when you when you when a computer gets stuck? You know, you know. Did you know that seventy percent of all the problems of a computer gets fixed when you just reboot, start it up again? Well, the mind is similar, and uh, it could even be a hundred percent. And when you occupy your mind, when you occupy your mind. Just like you add new files to a computer, the computer becomes a new computer basically. It has new information. A hundred percent. You could clear the whole thing out and start all over. You could reboot with medicine, therapy. Uh, just like the computer crashed in the first place when I had one too many gigabytes of information. Panic attack, depression, too long dumping things into your mind analyzing everything, philosophical thoughts, anxiety, panic attack, drug attack on your brain because you took something and God forbid you had a chemical reaction that overloaded your brain and uh, that's basically all that really happened and then it distorted the whole computer in your brain and the color changed, things look strange, uh, things look strange and look dreamy and look fuzzy and a computer could handle it but a human being can't handle that so you, you get even more depressed and you get even more anxiety and then the cycle continues and then the computer crashes now you, you don't want your brain to stay that way uh, so what do you do again you reboot in the first two videos I spoke more about you know the medicine I took, you know, me in general, I would have been I would have been stuck if I didn't try something new and mix it up. Uh, I talked about the the blender. You can't just throw the same stuff in the blender. Sometimes you gotta throw uh, different flavors in there, different colors, different fruit and vegetables. It can't just be green all the time. So you mix it up. Now uh, people are still asking in the comments, uh, you know, what did I take? Well, personally, uh, my psychiatrist prescribed uh, Zoloft for depression and OCD actually that's what it takes care of and Zyprexa for the anxiety and uh, and yours whoever yours whatever you get prescribed will be based on uh, you know what works for your brain but either way it's eliminating depression and anxiety uh, I, I bet you uh, that that's uh, part of what's mixed in with derealization and depersonalization. There's no doubt about it. So whatever works for your brain, and I'm not saying it's going to be the same exact medicine that I took. So we're not going to stay on that for no longer than a minute. Because if I talk about that over and over again, you're going to think, those are the medicines that work. No, this is uh, this is about mixing it up. And whatever works for your brain is still rebooting. And your psychiatrist has to figure out what medicine works for your brain because everyone's brain is differently. Uh, everyone reacts differently to medicine, uh, diff different medicines. And the bottom line is uh, that uh, I'm here to talk about today for part three, for video part three, uh, about the, uh, the way that you actually let this all slip your mind and you forget about it and you forgot it ever happened how the hell did I do that even after mixing it up people seem to be stuck sometimes no, but don't get don't get me wrong if I didn't start with the medicine or the therapy or something different if I didn't start with that and stay on it long enough uh, or even stay on it for a lifetime if I had to uh, what they told me I could I was allowed to taper off but that was my case but if I needed to stay on it I, w I would have done whatever they told me if it's working because mixing it up is where it all began for me that's where the reboot began started having those moments of joy where I could walk down the street and feel the sunshine on my back and forget that I had anything wrong with me for seconds even if it lasted seconds and I forgot that I was stuck in some kind of hell of you know, deep thoughts. 
even though um, it was only seconds that I just forgot everything, I just enjoyed the moment and what was in front of me, the sun, the, the air, the blue sky, the walk I was taking, and just, it was like the life that I had before this all happened to me, the life that everybody wants so badly, the life they had moments before this all happened to them, when it was good, but you could slip back to that, how? Um, by taking those walks. You have to occupy your mind with the moments. Because nature and the way the brain works is it's not meant to think so hard. So the more the more you try to be normal and even act normal, the more you'll forget this what's going on for seconds and then it'll turn into minutes. Then the minutes will turn into days where you had really good days or long hours where you weren't thinking about derealization or depersonalization or you weren't feeling the derealization or depersonalization the whole cycle was destroyed not only did you reboot or uh, not only did you try something new um, even if you didn't try something new yet you have to try something and you have to try to start walking away or soaring away like a plane to new lands now start now by trying to be uh, the happy you or whatever made you happy try to go back and do some of those things before this all happened to you and uh, eventually when your mind is occupied with other things it doesn't give you time to think and if you don't have time to think and put in bad files into your head, like a bad computer, it'll start clearing out and putting new things into your mind, like a good computer. The more experiences you have, the more good things you could do for your mind, and more moments that you have without thinking about this stuff, or being in that mode, or being stuck in that hellish mode of DR or DP, the more you could be out of it, even for moments or like I said, hours, it'll start turning into days, it'll start turning into weeks, months, year goes by, like happened for me, I forgot, my mind doesn't know how to create that feeling anymore, because it got new stuff in it, and now it's just, it, no, it only knows how to take in regular feelings, regular thoughts, regular sunshine and it just I just landed on new grounds. I got off the plane and now I'm 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 staying here. Now I'm stuck in a good a good zone, a positive zone. I talked about in the other videos how there's a negative zone where uh you don't want to be stuck in that. Now, if you've been stuck for years, you could still get into a plane in your mind and fly away and start it all over. You could reboot. Now Got to give you an example, so I'm going to use my first kiss. When I had a first kiss, it was a good experience. When I was, my first time I was in love, it was a good experience. I was young. It was like 20 years ago. You think I remember that every day of my life? You think I still remember that phase where I was, for a whole year, where I was in that zone, where I was in love with that one girl, and that's all I thought about? Or that first kiss, that moment that I had that reaction, that good reaction, the chemicals that ran through my body? endorphins they call it and the feel good chemicals that my mind created from the first kiss I could still feel it now if I think about it sure I remember that but just like derealization or depersonalization uh, you know uh, just I could say I could say the same thing about that yeah I remember that but it doesn't mean I have to be stuck in it forever Am I still stuck in my derealization or depersonalization that I was stuck in about a year and a half ago? Now about a year and a half went, went by since I've been over this. Am I still stuck in it? Hell no! There goes that plane again. My mind has already got so used to not being stuck in that that I don't even remember how to create the feeling. I can't even go back to the nervous breakdown. It was a nervous breakdown. It was some sort of breakdown. And if it happened from drugs, then the drugs broke you down. If it happened from depression and anxiety or OCD or f deep thoughts or philosophical thinking, then that broke you down. But now, stop putting files into your head. Try something different. 
Stop moving, stop walking down the street, do things, occupy yourself. What do you like to do, huh? I like to do music. Someone asked me, oh, is that, is that bad? They're creative. They're a creative musician like me. Is that what caused it in the first place? Not the music. Yeah, you have a creative mind, but guess what? You can enjoy the music again. It might occupy your mind to the point where you... If you're being creative about music, you'll forget about this thing that you created, this DR and this DP. That's what happened to me, too. I started doing music again, producing beats and making, doing my thing. I started, you know, working, doing my full-time job, whatever else I do, taking care of my family, you know, take care of my dog, go for walks with my dog, take care of someone else, take care of something else, do something else, cooking, I like cooking, eating, I like eating. You know, you don't want to get heavy, but you know what, you know. But meanwhile, anything was better than thinking about these thoughts. Now, I'm not saying I'm, I sat down and I just ate and I just sat there and that's all I did. I was depressed. No, no. You got to do different stuff. Different things will mix it up enough where your mind is occupied. Just being yourself. Now, before all this happened, I bet you were doing different things. You had a whole schedule. You were doing different, thing, different things throughout the day. And you didn't think about anything. You just did what you had to do. But it helps. That's what you got to do. Keep moving. Keep walking. Keep moving forward. Like Rocky says, you get hit hard, keep moving forward. That's it. It's not even about, it's not even about how hard you could hit. It's about how hard you could get hit. If your mind is getting hit, you just keep moving forward. Why? Because that's going to help you grow away and go away from this stuff. If you just lay down like you're knocked out and you don't get back up, like a referee counting to ten, it's gonna be you're gonna be stuck forever. You're gonna, it's gonna be over. You're gonna lose to yourself. The only one standing in front of you is yourself. And you gotta make the change today, now. So what are you gonna do? I'm a you're not going to think about something forever. You're not going to be stuck in one phase forever. The girl broke my heart 20 years ago, actually. I was in love. The first kiss I'll never forget, that whole phase. Do you think I've been thinking about it for the last 20 years? No. I forgot it happened until I just put on this video uh, to record. My, I started thinking about, holy shit, I haven't thought about that for 20 years. I forgot the whole thing happened. It wasn't even in my mind. You think your mind keeps these things uh, going? The whole phase, I fell out of love. I slipped out of it. I slipped out of the phase with her. That was just a thing of the past 20 years ago. I don't care how long that lasted. If it lasted a year then, it's been 20 years since it's been anything. Now it's been nothing for 20 years in my mind. It hasn't even gone into my mind. You could slip out of it. You could slip out of great moments, like your first kiss. You might forget about it. And you don't have to think about it forever since the kiss happened. And you could also slip out of bad things, like the moment your mind had to break down and the phase that you're stuck in. It's not love, it's the opposite. It's like hell. You could slip out of love, you could slip out of hell. Your mind is powerful like a computer. It's time to reboot. And if you reboot, you're starting something new. So that's what you guys got to do. I don't want to make it a long video and go in circles and walk in circles I'm sorry if I'm getting anyone dizzy but it helps me think comment share I will be answering the questions and we'll figure this out together I'm living proof that in this third video which is now progressively a year and a half two years since this happened to me I think about two years I seriously and totally uh, am the way I was before this ever happened to me, just normal again, because it slipped my mind, the whole phase. I got busy, my mind started doing other things and I forgot how to even create the feeling of de-fucking-personalization and de-fucking-realization, real uh, excuse my language, but... What a fucking waste of time, guys. Let's get out of here. Let's go on a, let's get on the airplane and I don't know what state you want to go to, a different state of mind.
piece. And don't forget, this is temporary.